Uh, I think that coming in today, like coming off of RPI, that was a, that was a tough loss. Um, and we worked hard in the practices after that. Like we knew this was going to be kind of a dogfight of a game. Um, come in here, we're going to have to like grind it out. Um, and I think that in the end, that's what we ended up doing. And I'm, so I'm really happy with, with how it ended up. We came out very slow, but uh, our defense really kept us in it, and that was a lot of a, a momentum shift for us, and especially with Andrew and Jay at the X getting us the, getting us the ball off of each faceoff. That was huge to give us that swing in the second half, but at the end of the day, uh, we weren't as buttoned up offensively as we would have liked, but our defense really kept us in it, uh, Lucas Drexler, Bruce, and Ned especially, and then all of our defenders. So uh, that's a great source of confidence for our offense when we know that our defense is probably going to get a stop. And uh, we managed to gut it out, but uh, definitely all, all props to our defense, especially for carrying us here. Yeah, I think uh, I think any time that you go into double overtime, it's uh, it tests your mental stamina. Uh, but our coaches definitely kept us ready on the sidelines, and especially our, our captains really kept us emotionally in the game. It's it's incredibly difficult, especially we're we're struggling early in overtime. But uh, a couple of amazing saves by Lucas, Andrew getting us the ball at the start of both overtimes. So uh, we were definitely prepared, and then we were lucky, sort of with a couple seconds left, able to able to pull it out. But it was it was all those guys doing it before it was the final the final goal watching from the sidelines um you know there's you always hope like on that possession that we're gonna have a goal like that and you know it was just it was really awesome to see like kind of the offense and i feel like that particular position possession they uh they really clicked and uh you know it's nice to see tory like a freshman coming in with james the sophomore and like gavin like all the midfielders and stuff like that they're really working together well and uh you know, they connected on that one when it really counted, and that's what's really important. So, yeah, we were able to we were able to pull it out. I think uh, it was almost desperation at the end, but uh, it was a great feed from Tory. It was uh, a great defensive stop at the end. So, uh, I think we you know we managed to pull it out, and we're we're glad to get another tally in the win column. But yep. uh, all all of our heads are definitely turning to the weekend against UNE. I'm excited. Um, this is my first away game. Like kind of ever really in college. Um, so I think it's gonna be a really, really awesome experience to, to be able to go and play another team's field, um, sort of travel around and kind of show everyone what like MIT lacrosse is about. Um, exactly. I think we definitely have something to prove, especially offensively uh, after this game where we were struggling a bit. Um, so I think that going up to UME is gonna be a real test of how we can come back together as a team, regroup, uh, especially after a game like this. And, and I think we, we have something to prove, especially offensively. So we're going to go back to the drawing board, have two good days of practice, and, yep. and hopefully come out and get a win uh, on the road in Maine.